every actor in town has refused the film. Yes. Dilip Sahib ne refused ki. Dharmendar ne refused ki. Picture. Dev Sahib ne refused ki. Rajkumar ne refused ki. And we had no choice but to take a newcomer. And we saw a picture of Bombay to Goa. We had Amita Pasand aya, and then we bagged him. And the rest is of course history. One of the most fascinating aspects of the film industry, according to me, are the missed opportunities that actors have in their long careers. These tend to create hypothetical scenarios which make me wonder about if the actors had said yes to a particular film, one, how their careers would have panned out, and two, how the movie would have considerably been different from what the masses witnessed. Taking a look at some of the instances where actors rejected films because they did not connect with the material, and other instances where they recommended other actors for the role, here is tried and refused productions with 10 Bollywood actors that refused famous movie roles. Kapoor and Sons One of the most surprising films that came out of Dharma Productions in this decade was the heartfelt and powerful film Kapoor and Sons. Through the dysfunctional Kapoor family, Shakun Batra successfully shed light on several important social aspects, especially through the character of Rahul played by Fawad Khan. The character portrayal provided a grounded in reality portrayal for the LGBTQ community and the impact of its revelation to a conservative Indian family was first offered to Saif Ali Khan. So we really wanted and, to... and with the wife at home who's saying you're being incredibly stupid, Shakun is one of the best directors you'll ever work with. That's fine. I mean, we all make our choices depending on circumstances in life. Yeah. And, you know, it was meant um, uh, it was meant to be the way it was. While Fawad did a phenomenal job in the film, it would have been quite interesting to see Saif Ali Khan in the role and showcase the maturity that he has developed as a performer over the years. Mehuna. Mehuna was one of the biggest commercial successes in Bollywood. The Farah Khan directorial debut instantly connected with the masses and provided a huge platform for a young actor like Zayed Khan, who played the role of Shah Rukh Khan's younger brother, Lakshman. What catapulted Zayed Khan's career as his biggest success actually was not initially meant for him. Farah Khan had actually envisioned Rithik Roshan initially, but who had become a star after Kahona Pyar Hai and didn't want to do a double hero role. Farah even approached the unconventional choices like Farah and Akhtar, Sohail Khan, as well as Abhishek Bachchan, which he dished out in an audible podcast with Rajiv Masand. Kauna Pyare went through the roof and Man. then whatever reason they said, maybe not a double hero right now. Hmm. And, uh, was Farhan Akhtar attached at some point? I, we, I, I thought about him. Ah. I did think about him, but he was want, He was a full-on director at that time. Right. Then Sohail we, Khan's Sohail, name popped up. We, yeah, I spoke with him, Abhishek. Oh. Knowing the case now, it would have been quite intriguing to see how the different permutations and combinations would have worked out, sharing the screen space with Shah Rukh Khan, Hamtum. It's tough to go through most of Saif Ali Khan's filmography in the 90s in Bollywood, an actor that was definitely not comfortable with the material and the pitch in which commercial films were presented. As a new chapter started with Lil Chata Hai and showcased the acting chops that the actor possessed, Hum Tom established the actor as a leading hero for which he was showered with praise and awards. Little known fact is that the lead role was initially offered to Rithik Roshan and the reasons for rejecting the role were conveyed by the actor in the first season of Coffee with Karan. The fact that uh, Hamtum went on to become a success just proves that um, they did, they followed the right path. I, I would like to think that I helped them uh, get that push in the right direction. Where Hamtum went on to become a massive success, it's interesting to notice how both the actors' respective careers panned out with their choices. Rang de Basanti. I remember as a 12 year old going into a packed theatre in Chanakyapuri and watching what was advertised as an Amir Khan film called Rang de Basanti. I had not seen a Hindi film like that and was completely immersed even as a preteen. One actor that impressed everyone and was relatively unknown to the pan Indian audience was Siddharth, who played the role of Karan Singhania, an actor that at that point of time had done a few Tamil and Telugu films, but with his nonchalant, punk rock, and rebellious vibe, had won the hearts of the masses. Little known fact is that this spectacular and meaty role was initially offered to Shahid Kapoor, who could not do the film because of his hectic dates, which he confessed on a talk show with Neha Dhupia. Rangde Basanti, I didn't turn it down. I didn't have dates, so I couldn't do it because ah. they needed to shoot at a specific point in time. They My wanted me to play five. the role of Siddharth. And, you know, I had read the script and I had cried and loved it. But unfortunately, I was committed and couldn't immediately take out time. Siddharth absolutely killed it in the role, so we have no complaints. But it still would have been quite fascinating to see Shahid in the world of Rangde Basanti. Tamasha. 
One of my favorite films in the last few years was the Imtiaz Ali directed film Tamasha. Where I wish for the day Imtiaz Ali can bring us another gem. I don't think anyone can debate about the powerful chemistry between Ranbir Kapoor and Deepika Padukone. Vedi and Tara achieved a cult like status with Cine Goas and more than the writing everyone felt that the movie was cast perfectly for both the actors. Imtiaz Ali had actually offered Tara's role first to Anushka Sharma. who rejected the role on the grounds that she felt the sole focus of the film was the male protagonist i wouldn't want to change anything about the masha but it's interesting how it could have possibly not possessed the same magic with any other pair Bombay Velvet A lot of people remember Bombay Velvet for only the financial debacle that it was. While I understand that the movie can be criticized for its overindulgence by Anurag Kashyap that falls in love with the world he himself created, it being so harshly panned was definitely rather excessive. The film presented some breathtaking cinematography, performances and generally was an earnest attempt at executing something fresh. The character of Johnny which was played by Ranbir Kapoor was initially offered to Ranbir Singh who rejected the role on the grounds of not connecting with the material a definite bullet dodge for ranveer as ranveer even today is hilariously questioned about bombay velvet badhaiyo a movie that kick started neena gupta's career again into regular bollywood movies was the sweet effective and beautiful film badhaiyo a movie that finally showcased that the hindi film industry could portray romantic stories of individuals in the elderly age bracket barely ever showcased on the big screen many remember the infamous public message that neena gupta had put out about her being available for acting roles and no one was offering her anything but very few people know that the first version of the script created by amit sharma was actually offered to tabu tabu who felt that she was not the right fit for the role actually recommended neena gupta's name for the role sabse pehle hum log gaye the tabu ma'am ke paas aur unhone sunte sar bola ek kamal ki script hai lekin mujhe nahi lagta ki main sahi hu iske liye picture ke liye main sahi nahi hu to neena neena ji kyun nahi ho sakti iske After watching the short film Khujli and doing a test shoot with Neena Gupta, the director Amit Sharma felt she was perfect for the role and since then it has been onwards and upwards for the veteran actor. Bharat One of the most talked about role rejections of recent years was the drama surrounding the 2019 film Bharat. Priyanka Chopra was locked in for the lead role but opted out of the film extremely close to the time it was going on the floors for its first schedule. Presumably, initially Chopra opted out of the film due to the limited screen time but later it was revealed that it may be due to her marriage with Nick Jonas. Katrina Kaif was roped in very close to the first schedule of the film and did a praiseworthy job. However, Salman Khan did not stop reminding the public during the promotional interviews that Priyanka Chopra walked out of the film and when she got the biggest film of her life she dumped that film and she got married you know hats off it's hats off hats off usually people leave the husbands for a film like this Delhi Belly One of my favorite films of this decade was Delhi Belly which I still feel isn't celebrated enough inventive funny and extremely surprising it had all the elements of a great comedic thriller it also provided a great platform for Imran Khan as an actor who was otherwise in most of his films after his debut criticized for the lack of range he possessed The original choice however of the lead role was Ranbir Kapoor and it made me wonder in retrospect how fun it would have been to see Ranbir Kapoor in a world like Delhi Belly. The film is still phenomenal as it is but Kapoor in a well written and naturally funny thriller would have been great. Padmavat a movie embroiled in controversy but I was a huge fan of was the Sanjay Leela Bansali visual spectacle Padmavat where Ranveer Singh got all the praise and love for the film as the antagonist and deservedly so there was little praise for the convincing performances of Shahid Kapoor and Deepika Padukone where many felt that Deepika's wide-eyed expressive eyes were rather one tone others felt she embodied the elegance and grace of the Rajput queen the film surprisingly was initially offered to Kangana Ranaut who clarifies nothing developed after the narrative. of the script. So we had a brief meeting for Padmavat. He narrated me the film and Oh yeah, uh, he offered yes. you the film? Yes. No it, way. It was this conversation Amazed. and I was doing uh, Manikarnika also around that time. So that conversation didn't go anywhere. Envisioning another actor playing the role is tough, but it would have still been quite intriguing if Ranaut played the role of Rani Padmavati. knowing just her capability as a performer just on a side note i have to say just go back and see the trailer of padma vat once more i mean i still get goosebumps while watching it the combination of the background score rani sa composed by sanjit balhara and the breathtaking visuals with giving nothing away from the storyline it literally for me is one of the best trailers designed for a bollywood movie and that was a video guys write down in the comments below if you have some video ideas for our channel please don't forget to follow me on instagram the handle is right in front of you follow me at jammy pants4 also please support us by smashing the like button and subscribing to our channel for weekly content ahead thank you for watching